Hello, everyone. This is your Sunday evening KRQE.com webcast. We begin with meteorologist Jason Laney. And we've had yet another round of showers and storms out there on our Sunday, really covering a good chunk, a good chunk of the state as that moist flow continues to uh, pump the moisture in. Now, we'll see the showers settle down tonight. And while there will be a few more showers on Memorial Day, it looks like coverage is going to be a little less. So that means a few more areas should see a little sun to start the week. Thank you, Jason. 22-year-old Marino Leba Jr. is back in Santa Fe in jail, and he'll have to come up with five million bucks to bond out. The 22-year-old is accused of shooting to death a 50-year-old man, his 17-year-old daughter, and her unborn child inside their Santa Fe apartment late Friday night. The manhunt to track Leba Jr. down was no easy task. It took police 22 hours to find him. Police say it appears Leba Jr. and the teenage victim had some sort of relationship. Police are charging Leba Jr. with three open counts of murder. The third count concerns Sarah. Lovato's unborn child. It's unclear if Leba was the father of her child, though. A motive for the killing is still unclear. State Public Regulation Commissioner Jerome Block Jr. and his father, Jerome Block Sr., both got a taste of what it's like behind bars. The duo was booked into the Santa Fe County Jail on multiple felony charges last week, then quickly released. The charges stem from Junior's election to the PRC last year. In early April, a Santa Fe County grand jury indicted the blocks for election code violations and tampering with evidence, public financing for Block Junior's campaign, and the indictments charged that Block Junior misused some of the campaign money. Stay with KRQB for more news and weather updates. I'm Tim Maestas. Thanks for logging on.